up another mission. Click the on button to start the wheel. Uh, let's do this. Hey, out there in PC land, it's time for everyone's favorite game show starring your host with the most, Monty Monitor. Answer everything correctly, and you can save poor Amelia Airbot from the clutches of time. Your first clue is a B. The B will lead you to what your mission is all about, provided you don't get stung. In 1957, killer bees escaped from a laboratory in Brazil. Their numbers soon multiplied, and killer bees began to swarm north towards the United States. But don't worry, the bees are now under control. <laughs> Some bees might be scary, but without them, there wouldn't be any honey. What do bees collect to make honey? And now bees are like almost extinct. Um, nectar. Hmm, how sweet. And it's not only bees who like to drink nectar from flowers. Which of these animals also drinks nectar from flowers? Hummingbird. Right. The hummingbird hovers near flowers to drink nectar. And its wings beat so fast that when it flies, you can actually hear it humming. That's how the hummingbird got its name. The hummingbird is the only bird that can fly backwards. What else can fly backwards? A helicopter. Just like a hummingbird, a helicopter can fly upward, downward, sideways, and backward. You did it! We'll be going back in time to the invention of the helicopter. And now we're one step closer to finding Amelia Airbot. Your second clue is a pair of sneakers. It will help you sneak up to where in history the helicopter was invented. Sneakers are so quiet, you can sneak around in them. That's why they're called sneakers. The Mayan Indians invented an early version of sneakers. They coated their feet in layers of sap from tree bark. The sap hardened and protected their feet. The sap used by the Mayans to create their version of sneakers was brought to England 200 years ago. What was this sap eventually called? Um. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Shit, um... Good going! Ha <laughs> ha! The sap from this tree was used to rub out pencil marks, so the English dubbed it rubber. The soles of today's sneakers are made from rubber. That's what makes them comfortable, sturdy, and quiet. Rubber is used to make what other kind of footwear? Sorry, I got, um, distracted because I started looking up if bees are actually going extinct or not, and they're not. Wait. Bumblebee species declared endangered in the U.S. for the first time. Bee apocalypse was never real. Pony bees have gone from endangered to dangerous. I don't fucking know anymore. Don't kill bees. That's all. I don't know if they're extinct, or, no, I'm sorry, they're definitely not extinct. I don't know if they're you know, gonna be extinct. Just, just fucking protect your bees. Try to just stay the fuck away from them. Don't call the exterminator. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know who you should call, honestly. Call animal control. They're not animals, they're insects. Let's just fucking carry on with this game. I don't give a shit anymore. Rubber is used to make what other kind of footwear? Rubber boots are great to use in snow and rain because they are waterproof. Not all boots are made from rubber, of course. What makes a boot a boot is its shape. A boot is any shoe that covers the ankle as well as the foot. What country is famous for being shaped like a boot? Congratulations! <laughs> Italy is one of the easiest countries in the world to remember because it's shaped just like a boot. Italy's boot extends into the Mediterranean Sea from Southern Europe. Presto! Polly sent Amelia Airbot to Italy. Your third clue is a new car. What? Hop in. The car will take you to when in history you need to go. Some people think cars are a modern invention. 
but people were making cars over 500 years ago. These early experimental cars were propelled by springs like a clock. Some were even powered by the wind. It takes about 14,000 parts to make a modern car. What metal are many of those parts made from? Um... Yes! Ho ho! Many of the 14,000 car parts are made from steel because steel is a strong metal that's fairly light. That's why steel is also used for making very tall buildings. Without a strong and light metal such as steel, we could never build very tall buildings. What are very tall buildings called? Skyscrapers scrape the sky. Before the invention of steel, it was almost impossible to build skyscrapers. In ancient China, for example, there were only a few tall buildings, and Chinese people loved to parachute off of them. The parachute was invented in China in 1100. Around 383 years later, it was reinvented in Italy. Around what year was the parachute reinvented? Uh, 1483. Yes, around 1483, a famous Italian scientist designed a parachute, never realizing that the Chinese had invented one hundreds of years earlier. 1483 was also the year when the helicopter was invented. Wow, the helicopter was invented in 1483? I didn't know that. Well, we have to go back to 1483 to find poor Amelia Erbot. The fourth clue is a construction crane. It will tell you who in history invented the helicopter. The construction crane was first invented 500 years ago by the same Italian man who invented the parachute and the helicopter. A person who had the knowledge to invent a parachute, a helicopter, and a construction crane could best be described as what? Genius! Oh. Good thinking! Ha <laughs> ha! Scientists observe the physical world as carefully as possible. They describe what they see because they want to figure out what's true and what's not true about the world. Which of the following people also spend their lives describing the world as they observe it? Oh shit. That's right! Artists, like scientists, try their hardest to describe what they see as accurately as possible. Throughout history, many scientists were also artists. They were close observers of the world around them. Which Italian inventor was so devoted to describing the world as he saw it that he is now famous as an artist and a scientist? Da Vinci! Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian inventor, painter, sculptor, architect, musician, and scientist. He invented a helicopter so he could fly like a bird. Since an engine large enough to power it had not yet been invented, he never bothered to build it. Huh. So Polly sent Amelia Erbot back to bother Leonardo da Vinci. He invented the helicopter in Italy way back in 1483. That's amazing. I want to see this for myself. Let's go! Okay, let's do this. Ay. Ready, steady? Then click on me to go. Okay. Rotors, check. Engine, check. Radar, check. All set to watch the Italian scientist and artist Leonardo da Vinci invent the helicopter. Ray, we found Amelia Airbot. But Mamma Mia, she's about to spill spaghetti sauce on Leonardo's designs. What a disaster! What a night marinara! Hit the recall button pronto, and let's see if we can turn back the clock. 1483, dude, my parents are convinced that Da Vinci was, um, uh, an alien. Alright, if only cleaning the kitchen were so easy. Make sure your seat backs are in their upright locked positions while I take us home. Ah, oh, there's 
there's no place like home. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. We need to put this robot to rest. But yeah, my parents totally think that Da Vinci is like an alien who is so far ahead of his time and he was just like sent here to like move people forward i don't know but my parents are con convinced that like he was just a genius who was so ahead of his time that he was actually an alien instead of a human it does my cpu chip good to know that i've helped bring these guys back where they belong oh dotly you do have a hero complex don't you always wanting to save the world just to make you happy, the next mission will be even harder. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Select another question so we can save another robot. Click on the inventory to start a mission. I'm actually going to choose my mission next time. We really should. But for the time being, I will just go ahead and re-listen to this shit. To hear what Miss Winkle has to say to Polly. Alright. We still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on any of the buttons near the bottom of the Transquizzer. And I'm gonna try to uh, do a little bit of a... Uh... We've already completed that mission. Call it a chopper, an egg beater, or a whirly bird. Just don't call it late for dinner. <laughs> Seriously, this aircraft is a good example of an invention that came way before its time. The idea for the helicopter was thought up long before it was built. A helicopter is an aircraft that's lifted into the sky by one or two powerful whirling rotors. Why didn't the person who first invented the helicopter build one? Well, you see, Miss Winkle, it happened like this. The inventor of the helicopter was eating a delicious spaghetti dinner when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, someone came in and spilled sauce all over his designs. I think it was a rival inventor. Oh, don't get saucy with me, Polly. You know very well that the Italian artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci came up with the idea of the helicopter in 1483. But that was centuries before anyone invented an engine powerful enough to fly one. Ah, eh, been there, done that. Pick a mission we haven't completed. All right, and here's where I sign off. Hope you guys had a good time. I was buzzed. It's still raining outside. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.